Hi, uh, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC. You can reach me uh, at the office at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. Or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. And that's www.bowenboston.com. All right, this is 123 Blue Hill Avenue in Roxbury. Uh, this is a really busy street. Uh, always traffic out here. Okay, uh, but I'm just uh, doing a little pan around just to give you a little idea of what the neighborhood's all about. All right, so uh, let's go take a look at this property. All right, it's a bank-owned property. Uh, it's good for a contractor or a developer, and uh, it's uh, well, it needs work as a lot of these uh, properties that I show you uh, do need work. So anyway, uh, they had uh, the pre one of the previous owners had decided to. Put a uh, you know finish off the basement here as you can see the bank probably it's probably the bank that tore out the uh, the uh, drywall that was down here in the flooring. I only see two gas meters in this house. All right, and I only see uh, we're gonna go take a look back here at the utilities, and I only see two heating systems as well. They're actually in pretty good shape, Burnham's. They don't look like they're too old. Uh, actually, you can see that one of them services the first floor, and the other one uh, services the second and the third floor. And then I do see three uh, hot water uh, heaters as well. They have a wash and dryer hookup down here. And then you have your electrical panels um, down here as well. Okay. And uh, that's the door to the, to the back of the uh, backyard there. There is actually a small, small little backyard in this property. Okay. So let's go take a look upstairs. Uh, we're going to head into the first floor uh, unit here. And this is a one bedroom unit. All right, we'll start at the front here. This is the living room, hardwood floors. Uh, they, they have some, you know, newer uh, windows in here, but I think they're gonna need to be replaced. They look like the, the seals have been broken at the very least, so. Uh, all right, here's your bedroom here, excuse me, bathroom. Uh, and you can see that the uh, property was winterized back in uh, September, uh, on September 29th of 2011. I don't know what that really means. You know, it could have been vacant for a year before that. You know, I haven't done the research yet to find that out. So, little hall closet. Yay. All right. We'll walk into the bedroom on the rear left of this property. Uh, Medium-sized bedroom, I would say. All right, you get the high ceilings here, by the way. Very high ceilings. Uh, some closets there in the bedroom. All right, so let's look at the kitchen here. And the kitchen looks like it was done in the 90s. It's not in bad shape, actually, but I think... Yeah, it probably needs to be, probably needs to be replaced. All right, no dishwasher. And then here's the backyard, uh, the the rear, uh, the rear. Um, well, I don't want to call it a deck because it's not. The rear, uh, not even that well. I guess it's a tiny porch, I guess. But anyway, it's the second egress out of the property. All right, and that's the backyard there. It's not a bad, not a, honestly, not a bad size little backyard for this neighborhood. Okay. All right, so let's head upstairs. Let's go. Um, let's go to the second floor. And I think that the previous owner screwed this up because what they did is they turned one of the units into a studio, and we'll go take a look at that first. And uh, you got your bathroom, which we'll look at first. All right. Uh, so they turned this into a studio. Uh, you know, this is it. It's kind of messed up. Kitchen's not in bad shape. I don't think the lights work in here. Oh, all right. So kitchen's not in bad shape, but this would be your bedroom as well. Here's your, here's your, oops, sorry. Here's your sub, sub panel as well. Okay. And then you have the, uh, there are your decks and the neighbor's yards as well. So, and there's the door to that, to those, uh, to those stairs back there. All right. Uh, so what they did here is they, the previous owners wanted uh, more bedrooms, so they cut that second floor in half and they turned this into a bedroom, sort of like a bi-level uh, uh, unit. So they have a full bath here off of this bedroom, okay? And, uh, no, that lights don't work. So. 
full bath off of this bedroom closet and uh, then we'll head upstairs to this unit to the rest of this unit I think that the property needs to be reconfigured back to uh, two bedroom apartments on the second and third floor for it to make sense for a uh, a developer because you can't sell these there's no condo there's no condo market here there's your there's your sub panel for the electric here's your kitchen and you can see that this was probably an owner's unit as well because that is dishwasher <laughs> hardwood floors are kind of beat up they could probably be refinished uh, is there a view over here yeah you can see these windows need to be ugh, they need to be replaced well, I don't know if there's a view because I can't see out these windows. Oh, there's the Boston skyline over there, actually. Those are the skyscrapers up there. So you may have a view from a, from a roof deck if you ever wanted to put a roof deck on this. But again, if you're a landlord, you don't. Here's a little closet. Yay. Um, bathroom here on this floor. And then we'll look at the bedroom on the rear left of the property here smaller to medium-sized bedroom all right you know it's just nothing nothing too fancy and then there's another closet there I don't even need to open that up here's your door to the back stairs here's another bedroom another closet you know blah 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 and there's the uh, that's the Sun all right anyway so that's it okay that is the, uh, that's the property. Uh, it needs work. It is bank owned. Uh, there's really nothing on the market right now, so this is one of the cheapest. I don't like to give the prices on these videos because the prices always change. So I won't give the price, but it's one of the cheapest on the market right now because for some reason there's just not a lot of inventory in the market. I don't know what these banks are doing. I think they're, they're holding back some inventory because I know that there's a lot of short sales on a lot of distressed properties out there still but anyway okay so anyway 123 Blue Hill Avenue in Roxbury and this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen real estate LLC you can reach me uh, you can reach me on the web at w uh, on the web at www.bowenboston.com and that's www.bowenboston.com or you can call me at the office at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Cheers.